What is going on, YouTube world? We are KRT Life. KRT Life with a Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that cool stuff. And in today's vlog, we're going to be talking about all of the modifications that we've done so far to our GX470. So we get a lot of questions and comments on IG and Facebook about everything that we've done to get our GX to look the way that it looks now and not like a soccer mom wonder car. So I guess we're going to tell y'all, I guess, everything that we've done and what we plan to do in the future to our GX470. So the first thing we've done, we've changed the wheels and the tires. Um, do you want to say the specs before I yes. butcher them? Yes, so we're going to go ahead and start from the ground wheels and tires the first thing that we did was because that makes them one of the most dramatic i guess different changes in the way that the gx looks massive difference huge difference and the tires that we went with was the bf goodrich ko2s and the size was 265 70 17. yes yeah 265 70 17 and as you can see they look really really good the actual wheels that we got are i believe they're the 2018 trd sema pros and I got those from Toyota, and uh, they were the only new thing that we put on this car. Everything yes. else, including the tires, was used. But just those wheels and tires completely changed the whole look of the car. Yes, drastically. Drastically. Anybody who has a GX, they know once you put that on, it's going to be looking like a completely different vehicle. It should be one of the first things you do. Yeah, so the next thing we did was actually the lights. We changed the LED. Uh, we put the LED lights. Yes. So we got this Amazon brand LED lights. We're going to put it in the description because yes. I can't remember the name of the brand on top of my head. But lights was like extremely important, made a huge difference driving at night and doing road trips like that. Yeah, because our lights were, the uh, high beams were pretty good, but the low beams are almost non-existent. And a yeah. couple of trips we've taken into the mountains, it was extremely hard to see. So that was a massive improvement. We've done the review before on it. I will put the link up here in the corner as well. It's been a while since we actually changed them out, so we properly tested them and we still love them. Nothing wrong with them, we're great, no problems. So the next thing we did was a tow hitch. Yes, so after the change in the lights, we moved on to the back side of the vehicle yes. and we put a tow hitch on. And for whatever reason, RGX470 did not come with the tow hitch. I don't understand why SUVs come without tow hitches when you have cars that come with tow yeah. hitches from the factory. It just boggles my mind so we had to add a tow hitch and the tow hitch that we went with we actually got off Amazon as well so the link will be below and we went with the Kurt 5k it's the uh, it's a GX 470 tow hitch but it can also be used for uh, forerunners mm -hmm. so that was pretty much plug and play we just uh, screwed it on and installed it and that was that yeah that was a very nice addition that was another brand new thing we put on here yes so oh yes that was the second brand new thing because we didn't put very many brand new things on this vehicle not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so the next thing, obviously, because we got a tow hitch, we got the bike rack because we definitely need it. We do a lot of outdoor activities. We go cycling all the time, and it's always was such a big deal because we have three bikes that we have to fit yes. in the back. So we have to lay the seats and take the wheels off for the bikes and all of this stuff, and it's a very big hassle to do so. It kills the whole enjoyment, and it takes your trip like twice as long. Mm -hmm. So the bike rack was the next edition which was used mm -hmm. we got a very good deal on it and it was saris super yeah so clamp. it's called the saris super clamp 4 ex4 or something like et4 can't remember exactly but it's a great hitch uh it holds the bikes i mean very four very firm firm <laughs> firm but yes it holds four bikes very firm and when you go over bumps and drive off road with the bikes like you don't get any like rattling or vibration in the no. car i mean it's just a very very solid well built built in the usa um bike hitch yeah. so we highly recommend it if you guys are interested we're probably going to do a separate review about it because we use it all the time so mm -hmm. um it's a really nice addition if somebody is looking for a bike rack yes so and the last thing so far that we've done we put the roof box on yes 
So this past weekend, we went and drove way out of North Carolina and back to pick up this Hewley Flow roof Thule. box. It's called Thule. I don't know why I say Hewley. I don't know. Thule. Thule. It's a Swedish family who originally invented it because they were doing a lot of outdoor stuff. And I think the guy's name was Tulin. So, uh, but the, you know, but the They roof, shortened it. Oh, yeah, okay. well, it's supposed to be T H U L I N. That's the last name of the Swedish guy, but the box called Thule. Oh, okay. So there you go, Thule Flow. Yeah, uh, this box is awesome. It was one of their higher level roof boxes, but now they have a newer line of even higher level roof boxes because this one is discontinued, the one that we have. But it's still a great box, as you can see. It's shiny black. It opens from both sides. Um, matches the car. Matches the car. Very flat. Very flat, low wide, profile. Yeah. And we've already used it several times since we got it. And I can say, like, it has definitely been worth the money because we fill it up with stuff. And, yeah, yeah we only we, had it a week and we already we used already it. We already used it, yeah. And yeah. then the good thing about this uh, box, we can switch it out and put it on the Porsche as yes. well. Because that was the whole point. We needed a box that would go on both cars that would look good because we're all about aesthetics as well, mm -hmm. not just usability. So and this Form should function. Yes. And this should fit, fit perfect which is for the Porsche lovers. That also is going to come soon that whole DIY of putting this box on. Yes. And speaking of fitting on stuff, it just barely fits in our garage. Yes. And because we live in the city, we need to be able to get into parking decks, into our garage and stuff like that. So I mean, we are literally at the limit of where we can go as far as height. So there will be no lift uh, or suspension modifications making this truck any higher uh, in the future. Uh, and I guess that's pretty much all of the modifications that we've done so, so far, far to our GX470. Uh, in the future though, well, I already gave it away. We're not going to be doing any suspension lifts. Uh, what else do we plan to do to the GX? Well, a simple thing that I've been wanting to do for a while, but we haven't found time. I want to black out all these chrome pieces. Oh, yeah. This chrome trim and all this stuff. I want to take out all the uh, letters in the back of the truck. So I pretty much just black it all out. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to polish the headlights. Yeah. And then what else we were looking to do? Tinting the windows. Tinting the windows. The windows got to be tinted. Yes. Tinting the windows. I kind of want to put some more auxiliary lights on the front, like some like crazy bright LEDs, but we'll see. Fog lights would be nice. Fog lights, yeah. Because uh, like we travel a lot at night, mm -hmm. a lot. When oh, yeah. I say a lot, that means like literally every trip we take, it's usually at night. Most of our interstate travel is at night. Yeah, yeah. so we definitely need that because uh, last year, we went, no, this year, we went to North Carolina to snowboard for one day and man, with those bed lights and no fog lights, it was uh, yeah. it was challenging. It was very challenging. So that's probably another thing. Oh, the center, the center console. So we were eventually, oh, yes. you know, once you know COVID is over and stuff like that, and the money starts flowing again, we want to put that really cool Tesla style center radio yes. in there. Because I think we're gonna keep just this truck probably till it's gonna die. And then we're probably gonna buy another one. <laughs> probably, because we absolutely love it. I. I can't stress it enough how much we actually love this truck and how much it's being used for anything and everything. You know, I was actually saying on IG the other day, this might be my favorite vehicle yeah. that I've ever purchased. So, this is everything that we've done to our 2005 GX470. Uh, the links and descriptions to most of the stuff will be yes. below. Uh, we hope that you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, all that cool stuff. We are KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y, and I guess we're out. Yeah, so one thing I want to say, like I said, we're going to do additional reviews for Bike Rack and probably for the uh, roof box as well. But if you guys have any suggestions, we always open. So go ahead, put it in the comments if you think, or if you've done any mods that you think would be useful and actually, you know, not just a waste of our time for something we wouldn't be using, but just put it down there. Yep. All right, y'all. We're out. Peace.